out of three bands. And uh, we were the, we obviously first, is we were opening act. And the other two bands, um, well, I'll say this, the, the, the headlining act, who shall not be named, <laughs> they, um, they had two buses and they had all this gear and they had like roadies and they had a tour manager and they had two hairstylists. <laughs> um, and they, if there were two dressing rooms, they'd take two dressing rooms. If there were a hundred dressing rooms, they'd take a hundred dressing rooms. God knows we did not have a hundred dressing rooms. But they, they would leave, I mean, they just take up everything and they'd leave nothing for the opening acts at all. And they would, they would scream at their crew in the middle of their sets and they fired this one guy and left him in the parking lot after a show. Just, just mean, mean stuff. And, and then during that time, our, our first single, as we started to make our way over to the West Coast, our first single, One Step Closer, started, started to get on the radio. And we were pumped, man. We were running around. We were so excited. I remember we drove into Chester's dad's house in Arizona, and the DJ, just as we drove up, the DJ got on and he said, this is a brand new band, and apparently the singer is a local guy from Tempe, Arizona. This is Linkin Park with One Step Closer, and they played the song, and we were freaking out. I mean, we ran in the house. He's like, Pops, it's on the radio, turn on the radio. <laughs> and Chester's not so quiet voice. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so fast forward, we ended the tour, um, and you know, our next tour wasn't much better, surprisingly, and the tour after that got a little bit better and a little bit better, and um, eventually, you know, we learned to, like, really take care of our openers, because we were like, man, we were an opener once, and that sucked, and like, when people, you know, um, open for us, like, we want to make sure that they know they're welcome, and we give them space, and, so first of all, can we please make some not noise for Dan Broco who opened tonight? I was saying Dan, Don, Don Broco for a long time. Don Broco. Um, those guys are great. Really nice guys, by the way. Um, but anyway, so fast forward to a, a story here in New York really quick. These guys, we were playing a show. I think it was like Roseland Ballroom. I think we were like headlining that one. Yeah, man. Like we had gone from opening it one year to the very next year we were headlining it. And this guy, like I think it was Ch Chester came to the door of the bus and I was in there and he's like, hey man, uh, do you mind if I bring, do you remember this guy? And I was like, no, who is that? He's like, it's, the, it's one of the guys from that band that we opened for from like way the very first tour and he's here. And I was like, oh shit, are we gonna be, like, what do we say to this guy? And he's like, he's like, I don't know. He seems like he's like being pretty cool. So let's just have him come in and we'll just, you know, like be, we'll, we'll be cool, be cool. And I'm like, yeah, sure. <laughs> so he comes in and the guy is like, hey man, like, you know, I just want to say congratulations. Like on all your success, that's so cool. And we're like, oh, thank you. That's really nice of you to like come in and so on. And he, and I was, and at that moment I was thinking like, this guy is actually like being really cool. And that's just really nice. And then he says, you know, I, listen, I think back about all those times and how popular you guys got, and I think it should have been us. <laughs> I swear to God, he said it should have been us. And Chester and I looked at each other, we were like, yo, this is a moment where you could like beat this guy's ass. Like, wow, what a thing to say. And, and I looked at him and he just looked at the guy and he's like, yeah, man, like, good luck to you. I hope you, I hope it works out. Like, you know, you're not, you're still playing music. It's all good. Like, just keep going for it. And he's like, yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you, man. It means a lot. And we said goodbye to him and let him go. And Chester came back in the door. And, and I mean, I think the bottom line is like, that's the kind of guy that Chester could be sometimes. Like, just like, wow, this, this most super offensive thing. Just, he said such a weird offensive thing. And Chester was just like, Nah, man, that's cool. <laughs> Make some noise for Chester fucking Ben. And like I said, these 
shows, I, I, I want you to understand, like, my perspective on it is, 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 is modeled. I'll say this. I'll say this. I've actually said this like all over the world in interviews. My my perspective on Chester and what happened was it, it has been shaped in a way from the way that New Yorkers celebrated Biggie after he passed. Because it wasn't on some like sad stuff. It was like you guys celebrated the man. You celebrated, we got years with the music. We got years with a legend. Like it's a beautiful thing. And Chester was one of the greatest singers in music of all time. And he was a good dude. He was a friend of mine. He was a good person. And I just feel grateful to have all those great years with him. And I know you guys feel the same. So. On this next song, if you could please sing Chester's parts as loud as you can. To explain in due time All I know Time is a valuable thing Watch it fly by as the pendulum swings Watch it count down to the end of the day The clock ticks life away It's so unreal Didn't look out below Watch the time go right out the window Trying to hold on and didn't even know I wasted it all just to watch you go I kept everything aside and even though I tried it all fell apart. What it meant to me will eventually be a memory of a time when I tried so hard and got so far. In the end, it doesn't even matter. I had to fall to lose it all. In the end, it doesn't even matter. One thing I don't know why it doesn't even matter how hard you try. Keep that in mind, I designed this rhyme to remind myself how I tried so hard. In spite of the way you were mocking me, acting like I was part of your property. Remembering all the times you fought with me, I'm surprised that it got so Things aren't the way they were before, you wouldn't even recognize me anymore. Not that you knew me back then, but it all comes back to me in the end. It all fell apart. What it meant to me will eventually be a memory of a time when I tried so hard. Only